everyone. Um, I just wanted to hop on and kind of talk out, talk through what I've been thinking lately about what I'm going to do for 2023. Um, I have some thoughts and I just wanted to kind of get it out and see if you guys had any advice. Um, I did purchase this for next year. Um, pretty much have used my 2022 one since March consistently, but this is kind of just like my standby that I know if whatever I'm going to try and use doesn't work, I know this will, um, which is kind of saying that makes me think, well, why am I going to try something else? Um, I found that this, I like the size and it's easy to throw in my purse, but using it just kind of like every day, I'm finding this isn't enough space for my to-dos some days, not every day, but some days. Um, and then there are certain like lists and things I want to track that I don't have a space for in this. Um, and that even if I like went up to a bigger size, there just wouldn't be like a page for that. Um, you know, it's only got like a couple notes pages. So, um, I'm hanging on to this. Um, I also got this. 2023 to 2024 just plain monthly and I plan on just throwing this in my purse my purse excuse me for appointments um you know I've been carrying this around and that honestly I don't reference the weekly spreads just the monthly if I'm making an appointment so having all this extra stuff kind of weight to carry around is just not really necessary and this is just a smidge tinier and thinner, so it'll be really easy to just toss into any bag. Um, so this I know I'm using. Take this one aside. Um, I was at Goodwill looking for Halloween costumes, and I found this um, daytime, not daytimer, Franklin Covey um, binder, I guess, planner, and it's, I thought it was a compact size, but it's smaller, it's their pocket size, which has A6 rings, and I really love this at first, but as you can tell, it doesn't lay flat, <laughs> which would drive me absolutely crazy in the long run, and I've tried like bending it back on itself, weighing it down, um, I just don't think it will be, uh, able to lay flat, which it's unfortunate because I actually really like this. I think it's pretty. Um, oh, best of all, this was $2.50. Um, I think that was a pretty Okay, sorry. I had to stop. My uh, daughter was upset. Um, anyways, I got this for $2.50, which I think is a steal. Um, it's really pretty. The rings, you guys, I don't know if this is just standard. So this was made in 1996. Um, like it's driving me crazy. The rings, ugh, like they're so strong compared to um, my side effects like this. It's just like I could do this like with one finger. Um, this, they're like super duper strong. Like this, um, I probably don't have to make that sound. It's a bit exaggerated, but um, yeah. So what I did with this was I found at Target, um, basically one of these day designers, but the home edit version, and it was a 22, 20, 23, um, year version. So it was on clearance for like $4. So I thought, um, why not try it and punch it in and it fits and it's cute. Um, these are actually, <laughs> this is going to sound really cheap screenshots of the product image pay, um, picture from uh, Franklin Covey's website and then I just scale them to size and I cut print and cut them and I don't know I like to use it to test things out um, and I like having the space for notes but I could also see myself not really using the notes and then being feel like I'm wasting space um, pages I guess um, I like the idea of undated dailies more um, yeah, so this I thought of giving a try, but the fact that it's not going to lay flat and that this is an A6 ring, like 
height, but the width is narrower. Um, basically only limits my insert choices to Franklin Covey, which are kind of expensive. And then for them, the pocket size, like choices are kind of very limited. So um, it's just not something I think would work long term, but I'm gonna keep this for now because you never know. Um, so I think it's pretty. Yeah, this is like A6 width and you can see if I close it like it's uh, over the edge, barely. Um, those, there's that. And so kind of, I guess using this the last week or two, um, kind of made me realize that I don't hate rings as much as I think I do and that I think having a binder you like is um, makes me want to use the planner more and so I got this 2020 2019 when did I start planning I think it was 2019 or 2020 um, and I got this domino because honestly it was the most affordable Filofax version and I still like the color <sighs> I like it some days some days I don't um it's almost like too too beige just kind of a little boring <laughs> um and it's not real leather which is fine um but I'm kind of in this weird phase of giving this a go but also thinking of maybe trying A5 rings. Um, and so what I did is I took out my work notes in here and I'm going to um, go through them and see what I need to keep and then transfer everything over to just like a regular spiral notebook. Nothing fancy. I find the personal size page, it's just too little for work and I would just be like a massive stack of papers. Um, and I don't really need to keep my work notes with everything else since I do most of like my work planning per se um, on Outlook on like my computer and stuff. So I really only need this for notes. Um, so I'm just gonna transfer this over to a notebook. Um, so I've been watching a lot of, oh, what's her name? Samantha Gibson, I think, planning, choose your planning, I think is what she calls it, or planning your way or something like that. Um, plans meets paper, and I just discovered Zoe.plans, um, and they're all very functional. Um, Samantha Gibson was in a Franklin Covey for a long time, which is kind of why I found her from when I was looking up for my pocket. Um, she recently switched to a Filofax. She uses A5. Um, plans meets paper kind of alternates between personal and A5 and Zoe that plans used to use personal. Um, she didn't share any of those set up really, um, but she switched to A5 and I'm thinking, thinking of trying it out because so like I have this week on two pages that I've been using. I didn't keep earlier this year, which I'm kind of bummed. I wish I had. Um, I've just honestly tossed them, which I tossed 2021 as well. <laughs> I had everything all nice and neat, and then I just tossed them. Um, so, hold on. So, as I was saying, um, Kid interruption number two. I like horizontal layout because it's what I'm used to in this. Um, kind of keeping appointments on one side and to-dos on the other. I'm finding I don't, I don't know, like I like a daily, but I also don't want to feel the pressure to have to use a daily um, if I don't need it. And so trying to fit everything on a weekly spread is really appealing to me. Um, like I've got, where did I go? 
my day leaves here. Um, and I guess this is fine, but I also don't like having to look in two spots for information or like, oh, did I do this? Did I check it off here? Did I check it off here? If I see it here and it's not checked off, maybe like I forgot, I don't know. So, um, I also am trying, <laughs> this is another product image that I printed. That's why they all say the same week. Um, this is Philofax's kind of vertical hourly appointment layout for the personal size. And so I thought about trying this. Um, I like lines because they keep things neater as far as my handwriting. Um, only downside to this is there's not really a space for weekly to-dos. So I was having to use um, this sticky note. But um, yeah, so there's this and then kind of, I guess, in the same vein of an hourly, weekly layout, I'm trying, um, not a happy planner again, because this is just too big, but um, it's holding. I printed some um, A5, November go A5 Filofax inserts to try um, and they're just kind of floating in here just because it's keeping them kind of bound together um, not having loose papers flying all over the place and so this I would be able to fit like my appointments my to-dos there's a space at the bottom some notes um, and then like any to-dos for the day I can kind of fit in here and I've tried vertical weekly layouts before I've used passion planner which wasn't my favorite because it has a lot of extra stuff that I didn't use. I feel like I knew what to write there, so that kind of seemed like wasted space. And I've tried, obviously, Happy Planner um, was a vertical, but they're not timed. And so, I mean, it worked, but this page size is too big. I think A5 is like as big as I can go. Um, so I know like a vertical weekly would work for me. Um, and then, um, I went through my dailies for this week, which were in my Franklin Covey, and tried to see if I could fit everything in here, and I could. Even, like, my notes, I could put down here. There's some, like, just notes kind of up here at the top, so I know where to look for information. Um, there was some kind of journaling that I obviously didn't transfer over, but, um, I think I want to keep that separate anyway. Um, I'm just not very good at journaling. <laughs> but, and I don't do it very often. I just um, was anxious earlier this week and so finding that journaling helps during those times. Um, so I've got this and I put it out for next week. Um, you know, and I might fill in my work. Um, meetings and stuff even though that's on Outlook just to get an idea of like okay <laughs> am I gonna be on camera that day should I get ready um, you know and figure out when I have time uh, usually lunch is like the same but if I want to do a load of laundry or work out or you know I don't know do the dishes very exciting stuff here guys but um, kind of seeing it laid out for each day is kind of nice to know where when I have time to do things without having like a daily, uh, like a daily timeline for each day. Cause I don't find that to be as necessary. I don't know. So does any of this make sense? <laughs> so, you know, I'm thinking of doing the A5. I printed the, um, horizontal A5, but I was, um, there's no lines and it's so, they offer, they offer this with lines in personal size. And so I was kind of hoping they would in A5, but they don't. Um, and this is just looking kind of messy to me. And so I don't think this would work, um, long-term. Uh, but I like this space. I feel there's more space on this layout versus 
this layout, but it could just be how it's organized. Um, so I like, you know, you could have space for my to-dos for this week, which I don't have on here. Um, and that's something also that I missed in um, my day designer. Like I would try and squeeze things up here or in these little three boxes and that sometimes it's just not enough space. Um, and that's kind of why I tried the Hobonichi Weeks and I did buy one for 2023. Um, but again, it's just like, I need the space for my to-dos. Um, and so weekly reviews, meetings, appointments, events, etc., with like reminders and notes down here, reminders for the day up here and like notes and maybe a note specific to the day up here. Like, okay, my kid was sick. So like I noted that he was sick. Um, it's just like, I know where to go for that information. And then things I'm highlighting um, are like, if I get through my day and I look back, um, I'll show you in here, cause this is just like back planned, except for today, this is back planned. <laughs> but, um, I know like some people highlight when they're completed a task, but to me that doesn't work. My brain like, okay, at the end of the day, I didn't get to do these three things. So then I know I need to transfer them over either to the next day. So I, I would, or I like put them on my to-do list for the week. Um, this, this just came into my brain that day, so I wrote it down, um, I didn't get it done, so then I know, okay, we need to put away Halloween decorations, put that down here for the week. Um, so I highlight things that I don't get done either at the end of the day, so then I know, um, like the next day, either to do them, to transfer them, where they need to go, um, that's been working for me. Um, so... Uh, um, my kid was sick. I don't really care if you see. Um, and then for um, tracking, I guess. So one thing that I used to do, and I don't have my weeks with me, but there's like the this layout in the Hobonichi, and I would use it to track um, my cycle with just like a dot. And then I would use this for like exercise, which I try to do here. Um, but I finding I need it more for like a health log earlier this year, like March to May, I used my Hobonichi for a health log. Um, and I'm kind of missing that because there are things that have happened that I'm like, oh, when, did, when was that? And I didn't write it down. So I know it's like, oh, sometime last week, but I don't know specifically the day. So one thing she did is she wrote um, basically you have this and then she writes like a line and then you write what like what cycle day you're on and then she writes like her moods I think but I would just use like if I'm having any symptoms or things um so that's something kind of irrelevant if I'm in an A5 or personal I think I'll try and carry out next um. okay kid kid interruption I don't know number three or four I can't keep track um yeah, so kind of what I'm thinking, my only, I guess, reservation with kind of diving in and switching to A5. Okay, yeah, one last thought. I don't know if I got there because I keep getting interrupted. Um, so this is big. The binder size, mm, it might be like this happy planner size. Um, I measured it, but I, I don't remember. I think it might be just like a little bit smaller. Just a little, like a, a smidge. Um, I don't... I've discovered this year. I don't really need to take my planner with me. Um, if I'm going to the grocery store, I'll tear out my list. If, um, you know, I'm going to the dentist, I just use the monthly, which is why I'm going to have this. Um, the only time I've been like, Oh, I wish I had my planner with on me is when I've been at Goodwill or the used bookstore because I have a list of books I want to read. And so I'm thinking of just putting that into um, my phone or Goodreads. Um, I do keep my list. Um, I have it in here. I've had it in here most of the year. 
um, because I've been super into reading lately. Like I went from reading like one book every like two months to reading like a book a week this past month and a half-ish, which is fun. Um, and not like putting any stress on it. I've just, you know, I discovered Colleen Hoover <laughs> and Emily Henry. And so I've got sucked back into reading. Um, of course I can't find it in here. Um, and so I have like, books I wanna read. I think there's even more books to, oh no, books I've read, books I want to read. And so a lot of the times I'll see things on Instagram and I'm just like, oh, and so I wanna write it down and stuff where these go. Um, but other than that, like this, cause like arguably this isn't really as portable as it seems. Like this isn't going to fit in my purses. To be frank, like my purse is the size of this. I like small purses. Um, just cause I don't know when you have kids, I feel like I'm always wrangling kids that I don't have the dexterity to like be juggling a big purse. Um, so this would be on my desk. The only thing with tucking this is I'm trying not to fold it in on itself because I know you would not be able to do that with a binder. Um, so like leaving it personal. Um, I think my goal too, moving forward, is to really find something and use it the whole year. Um, with this, with my other one, <laughs> I have it on my other shelf. Um, having something full up, filled up for the whole year is kind of nice just to look back on it. Um, and I think the, I don't know, impulsivity and just buying things because I see them and I want to try them. It's just like I'm over it. Um, it's, that part of it's just kind of not fun for me anymore. Anytime I want to like switch, I just kind of get stressed. Um, not with this because I feel like this is like research, like me, like I haven't bought anything to try this. Um, like me taking the time to make sure that I make good purchases for next year. So yeah, I don't know what I should do. Let me know your thoughts. I think for November, December, I don't want to say I'm not going to buy anything, but I'm going to be just really trying to make sure what I buy next, like I'm going to use for a while. Um, all right, guys, thanks for listening, walking through this with me. Uh, sorry for the interruptions. <laughs> I hope this was, I don't know, entertaining. I don't know how helpful it will be because I feel like it's just my big problem, but yeah. Thanks again and see you guys later.